Oh boy, Collective, hello, welcome to the channel, Gigi here. Um, well, uh, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm, I, I'm literally in the middle of pulling cards and all of a sudden somebody's energy is really, somebody in our collective is really, really, really angry. There's a really angry energy. Then I, what I was seeing as I was going through my cards and pulling what spirit was giving me, he was also showing me a young girl, happy dancing, clean in the house. I mean, happy dancing, clean in the house. And I and I see a man off to the side at the, at the table on his computer, watching, with a smile on his face, feeling content. And his phone's going off, and he looks down and he gets really nervous and he sends it to voicemail. No, excuse me. It wasn't a voicemail. It was a text message. He keeps sending text after text after text. Just get away. Get away. Don't, don't, no, no. I can't let her see. I can't let her see. And all of a sudden, the girl that's happy dancing like she won the fucking lottery turns and looks and he, she sees him on the phone. Oh, what's going on? No, nothing. Just work. Oh, okay. And then she goes back to doing her happy dancing clean in the kitchen and then the phone rings he picks up and she stops what she's doing and she listens intently he gets off the phone relatively quick and as soon as he does she throws the towel down and says what's going on my intent my stomach is um feeling like somebody's really nervous like, I don't want to fight with her. I don't want to fight with her. I need to lie. I need to lie. Oh, it was just, it was just, uh, 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 it was her, wasn't it? And his face goes pale. She says, you told me you were done with that. I feel like my heart is sinking as if somebody's like, oh shit, I got caught. My intuition's firing up like this man is realizing he just got caught with something. She comes over, grabs his phone. When she's looking through his phone, all he sees is work stuff. All she sees is work stuff. And he's like sweating. You can tell he's sweating. He must have had whatever these text messages were that he was tripping about saved somewhere on his phone that you would never have known. But she's looking at him cross like, I know you're up to something. Mm, I'm watching you. And from that moment on, she's got her eye on her, over her shoulder watching him, pretending like everything's okay, but something in her mind is shifting. And she's got nasty, evil darkness around her. And she's just like, I know it's her. I know it's her. I know he's still talking to her. I know it. I know it. There's something going on. I can't let this happen. I can't let this happen. And I just see darkness radiating off of her, fuming. She's smiling on the outside, but let me tell you, she's pissed. She is so angry, like she's like digging her, her fists and her nails into her hand just to keep herself from losing it. Because she knows if she loses it, she will end up, it would be really bad. Like she's thinking police sirens, like she's about to pop off. And she looks like she's in a delicate state, too, and she doesn't want to do anything that'll end her ass up in jail. So, whatever the case may be. But that was, that was intense. Like, the energy was overwhelming. And all the while, this man has another woman's face on his mind. Like, he cannot get this other woman off his mind. It's so bad. And she, he gets up from the table and he goes into the kitchen and tries to love up on her. She grabs him by the hand and leads him into the bedroom. It's getting kind of, it's getting kind of steamy and he's got this face on where he's like, why, what's going on? Why, why isn't my body reacting right? And she's loving up on him, doing all the things, getting handsy, touchy feeling and nothing. She pins him down on the bed and she's trying. She's doing all the things. I'm not going to get too detailed because it's it's really X-rated. Okay, so 
trying to give him some dome, trying nothing, floppity flop, flop, flop. I mean, like, he cannot. He's, he's like freaking out. He thinks he's got ED. Like, he, she's like, why, what is going on? And she's getting up and she's fucking fuming, man. Like, she's pissed. And he's like, let me get on, let me try you, let me try you, let me try to, let me, let me take care of you, sweetheart. It's okay. I'm just, I'm stressed about work. She's like, no, that's not it. I know something's up. No, sweetheart, I'm stressed. I'm just stressed. We're, we're, work's real busy, you know. I, I, I just, it's a, there's a lot going on. Don't worry, it's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll go to the doctor. And he takes care of her business, and but she's just like, I just can't. She lets him get her off and all this, and then he, she pushes him away, gets up, and walks out of the room. And he's just sitting there on his knees with his face in his hands crying like I cannot believe it all the while this other woman's face is on his mind and he just cries and sobs he hears her get up and leave like walk out of the house he gets up and follows her all her cleaning stuff is gone and she leaves put away maybe I don't know whatever the case may be no it's still in the kitchen on the floor I see it whatever but she's gone all her st like her bag and her stuff is gone like there's no womanly stuff there so I don't think she was living with him <sighs> however the case may be but she's pissed and she walked out on him so I don't know what the actual hell is going on I don't know what y'all are sending me <laughs> but that just tripped me up real heavy because like what <laughs> okay all right so let's just get some sage and start this out let's get all of this organized because i literally didn't even have a chance to organize before i was like i gotta turn this camera on um i'm just gonna start out with with my prayer because i really feel some really angry energy i mean like somebody's legit pissed and uh yeah so we're not gonna we're not gonna allow that to linger too long so um holy father holy spirit I ask that you come down and protect and guide me as I channel the energy surrounding our collective. I ask that Archangel Gabriel please come down and allow me to channel only clear, honest, precise messages through you from the Holy Spirit. Archangel Michael, I ask that you please come down and protect me as I channel the energy that surrounds myself and the collective. I ask that you allow any negative energy that may be heading towards us to be sent back to where it comes from, to allow only divine white light to surround this reading and to send any darkness back. No darkness is allowed here during this reading. I feel the presence of the angels and I feel the, the hand of the Holy Spirit on my left side. So with that being said, I, have, I was told to bring out Big Bertha and uh, love and confusion also the third piece of love and confusion earlier today when i was feeding my son lunch i was given a few new messages that were added into the deck and now after this freaking reading uh, not reading but these premonitions that i'm getting this energy that i'm getting makes sense as to what those cards are so let's see if they come out let's uh you know what i really want to sage like something feels just off there's something really off right now and i don't like it so we're gonna just we're going to start off with this. We're going to get the candle going. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to be a long reading, guys. I apologize. Please bear with me. Let's, that. Let's just burn it. <laughs> just set it on fire. Get it going. How are you guys doing today, by the way? I didn't even ask. I didn't even thank you for following the channel and all that. Thank you guys for love and support. I really do appreciate it. That's just, I don't normally, that, I, that, that's a very heavy energy. Somebody is not happy. Like, my intuition is firing like, no G. No, this, this, this female is not happy at all like at all like she about to do some fucking damage she wants to hurt somebody like and it ain't even about throwing bows no more it's about like i'm gonna fucking hurt you bitch like you really fucking with me like you think you know mm -mm, okay like mm -mm, 
it's like a Laquanda moment. Like, she, she, uh, 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 that's, that's what I call a Laquanda moment. I love all, I love everybody. I just say it's a Laquanda moment. It just bring, reminds me of my ghetto days. <laughs> so no disrespect to anybody. Okay. Just wanted to put that out there. Cause I, 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 I'll, I go to Laquanda sometimes, believe me, even, even my son's dad says it. <laughs> So I'm right there. Like this, this, this female, she, she having like a, the worst Karen moment I have ever seen. Like she popping off. Like she, I, I could just see her to the point of almost like tossing dishes, breaking shit. Like that's how mad this broad is. Like she is so mad because she just knows like, I know you're up to something, man. I know you up to something. I know you up to no good. Like, what's the fucking problem? Oh, shit. Okay, we got Libra and Scorpio. Check Pluto and placements in your... And Pluto, too. On the bottom of the deck, we have Aquarius. Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius. Do I need Kipper? No. What am I starting out with? Okay. Nothing else but my, my Oracle decks. Oh boy. Spirit's got some messages. No, 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 no. I'm being told, pump the brakes, G. This energy's got some messages. This whole situation's about to... We need to see what's going on. She wants to know. Like, this, this female, whoever you are, whoever you are, lady, I feel your energy. I sense you're pissed off. Like, I get it. Like, let's see what the card's got to say. Let's see what you got to say. Your energy is like screaming, like, my head's tingling. My left side of my face is heating up. Do you really know who I truly am? I don't know, do we? What else we got, spirit? I feel like that's a threat. And so does my intuition. Like, she, like she's got a threatening attitude. What is this? Your babies need your love. Yes, even your pets. That's, everybody's babies need their love and they're sort of their pets. She's pointing to her stomach and pointing at the direction of this man. And she says, I don't care what, who, who this father is. He's mine. Whoa. And I'm getting that. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you think you are. You can't have her. You can't have him. Excuse me. I don't care. I don't care. He's mine. Like, I see her tantrum fitting, stomping her feet, tossing her hands. Like, she's just straight up having a fit. Like, I don't care who the father is. I, he's mine. He's mine. He's mine. I'm owed this. He promised me. Why do you think you can have him? And all the while, I don't even feel the energy of this other woman. Like, all I do is see her smiling face just kind of like, I have no idea what's going on. And all the while, this masculine sitting there like shit in a brick, like he's about to get caught. Oh shit, man. I want to tell you something to whomever this energy is. If you're more worried about what this man can do for you and you're not taking care of your baby... Or yourself. I mean, I see you sitting there working with chemicals. You don't have a mask on your face or your hands. Dancing around like a fool. Like, not taking care of yourself. Like, you should if you're using heavy chemicals scrubbing with bleach. Like, you shouldn't you be wearing a mask? Shouldn't you be taking better care of yourself? Instead of getting stressed out? Confirmation from whatever the hell my cat's doing. Shouldn't you be worrying about who you truly are to this baby? Like, quit tripping. I see you pointing to your stomach. I see that you're in a delicate state. Like, I know you're pregnant. I can tell. I've seen your energy before. I've seen your energy before. I've seen you before. I see your face. I see you dancing. I see who the masculine is. I see all of this. I see where you are. Okay? You need to take better care of yourself and quit tripping. Because if truly he was on a business call, how the hell do you know if that's what his phone's saying? I mean, if you can get it away fast enough and get it away faster where well, you can get the number that just called, like, go ahead, make a, make the phone call. If you're tripping that bad, if you, I mean, if you're, if you are honestly in a relationship with somebody, 
that is one this I'll be real with you I was in a I've been in a long-term relationship for for six years okay and my son's father even to this day even though we're just roommates still has all the access to my phone because there's nothing that I hide I'm a celibate woman I'm a single woman and he and I are just really good friends even though we're not in a relationship anymore he still has access to that because I got nothing to hide Okay. If I was in any kind of relationship with my man, I would, there would, there's, there's no code. And if there is, he would have the code. He would have access to touch my phone. So if he's tripping and he's blocking shit on his phone and he's got apps that are hiding things and you're feeling all kinds of ways, don't you see that there's a trust issue there that he, he's trying to hide something from you. Okay. Like, have you noticed something about this man that's making you trip like this? Like, why are you acting like this? You got to know that there's somebody else. And if there is somebody else and he's trying to go there, why are you holding him back? Especially when I see your energy telling me that you don't care if the baby's his or not. He's yours. But he obviously doesn't feel the same way about you because he's got another woman. And that woman is the only person on his mind, which is probably why he can't get it up for you, bro. So why don't you pump the fucking brakes, quit getting all pissy and sending me that energy because now I got to come over here and put your ass in your place for whoever, you, whoever this other woman is. Because I don't like the way other, I don't like bullies and I don't like a motherfucker who wants to sit here and threaten no damn body either. Okay. Do you, I, do you know who I re truly am? Uh, please feel free to let somebody know so we can move past this nasty, toxic, low vibrational energy, please. And instead of that, why don't you pump up that vibration and go love up on yourself, take care of your babies, pets, or whoever it is that you have in your life that needs you, and quit being over here dicking around with this man that obviously is only using you for something. And he obviously can't even get that from you anymore because he can't get it up. So why don't you pump the fucking brakes and start paying attention to what you're doing, how you're acting. Maybe see the pattern in which is going on between the two of you. want to sit here and threaten whoever this other female is please please i wish a bitch would. i really need to get that mug spiritual sag if you see this please hit me up email me intuitive readings with gg at gmail.com i need one of those mugs i wish a motherfucker would come over here trying to threaten somebody because i see your energy with the Wakanda motions and all of this this ghetto bullshit let's listen if you want to see what a real ghetto bitch is like come on come on let let gg coach you Okay, but you don't want to be throwing no negativity any which fucking where. Okay, because I'm fucking feeling the energy that's surrounding this collective on a daily basis. I'm so tapped in with the people that watch my videos that I can't help but freaking see this shit all damn day. On top of the stuff that I see for my own damn self. Okay, like you need to quit being such a low vibrational energy. You need to step up the fucking the, 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 the game. Okay, because if you're really truly like acting a fucking fool and threatening bitches, like you think this man is going to continue to let you know he's going to, he's obviously looking at other women because of who you are and what you're doing to them. So there's something going on. Something's going on. Do you understand how connected we truly are? And he's, his, this masculine's energy is saying to me and to this person on my mind. Please, love, she really meant nothing. I learned a lot and now I'm ready to be yours, which is why she's constantly on his mind because she he knows that this girl doesn't mean nothing and all he wants from her is the punani. And like when I say that, he's, his, he's licking his lips and shaking his head. Yeah, like she's got a tight body and she's cute and she knows what she's doing. Honestly, other than that, she's really not much else to be around. She's a pain in my fucking ass. This woman on my mind, she gets me. This other one, she just wants to play fucking games. She's more worried about going here, there, and the next thing and not worrying about what, you know, family life. She doesn't want that. She just wants to be a hoe. I'm not the only person she's smashing, he's telling me. But she's expecting me to be loyal to her. I can, I, and he's like, why would I want to be loyal to her when I know she's just coming over here to use me? I know she means nothing. And I learn, I'm, learn, I'm learning a lot and I'm now ready to be yours, but I'm still working on it. Once I get rid of her, then I'll be yours. And he keeps pointing to the woman that's on his mind. 
you're too beautiful for words he keeps pointing to the woman on his mind and he's saying please help me and he keeps pointing to the woman on his mind and he points to the woman on his mind and he looks over at this other energy or where this other energy was because she's not there now but he's saying she broke my heart I caught her she knows I caught her but she won't come clean she just keeps playing me for a fool she thinks she thinks I believe her when she says she's gonna leave him I really don't know if that baby's mine she keeps telling me it is but I just there's something on my mind there's just something that doesn't feel right about it please help me and he keeps pointing to the woman that he is on his mind in his head this is insane this is fucking insane you guys and he's like sweating like he's gripping the table sweating like he doesn't know what to do and he's going through his phone and he's like I need to figure out how to I, what do I do what do I do and he pulls up a picture of her it's the same picture that he keeps having in his mind I see it both on his mind and on his phone beautiful woman long dark hair gorgeous smile beautiful eyes just pure joy and his heart swells and it skips a beat and he starts crying again and he's like I, I'm sorry I don't know what to do to get out of this and he's talking to the picture and as the as he's doing this all of a sudden the phone rings or it's a beep and I, I see a text message It's dark outside. It was many, it seems to be much later after the initial call. And he just, he's like, I just can't even face you right now. I'm sorry, my love. He puts the phone down. He gets up. He's sitting, well, he gets up. He goes into the kitchen, grabs a bottle, and sits down on the floor. And he's looking around and drinking this bottle. He's like, I don't know what the fuck to do with myself now. I need help. Wow. It must be that spirit. Powerful manifester. And he's pointing to the woman on his mind. He's like, I know she is. I know I am, but I know she is too. And he's like, I'm afraid this other woman's going to hurt her. Please don't forget about me. Please don't be mad at me, my love. My intuition's like, my stomach is just flipping. Please don't forget about me, my love. Please don't distance yourself. Please keep loving me the way you do. You're the only reason I'm getting through this. Somebody that needs to stop hiding their talents. He's saying me, I need to stop hiding my talents. I see that now. He's tell his energy is telling me. She believes in me. This other? No. She doesn't care as long as this is good. Fuck, man. What the hell? This poor man is sitting in that chair just like slumped over, like feeling and looking defeated. He feels, he, he, his energy feels nervous. He looks exhausted. He looks defeated and exhausted. And where is this one? And I see her in the corner of my peripherals off to the side here. Just kind of like nasty face. I, I hate her's dream. She's fucking hating hard. She, the masculine energy is saying. She fucking hates this woman. She doesn't even know her, but she hates her. I mean, there's so much envy. It's just radiating off of her. <gasps> oh my God. 
That's insanity. Oh, wait a minute. I see her walking around a parking garage looking at a really sweet car. And on her mind, she's like, I just want to destroy it. I want to throw paint on it. I want to smash his windows, cut his tires, cut his brake lines. She just wants to destroy the whole fucking car. She's, she's standing there staring at it like hard. And then she turns and goes over to her, kind of. I mean, you got, like, pristine, beautiful, like, muscle car, and then you have mom vehicle. Kind of, like, just your basic car. And she's like, ugh, I just want his fucking money. Can he just give me the car? Can he just give me the lifestyle I want so I can just fucking be done with this? She gets in the car, slams the door, and fucking peels out. And just, she's just, she's radiating so much hate towards this other woman. I mean, it's burning her ass. Kind of like she's sitting on a burning bush. This is ridiculous. Like, she's tripping. Like, she's straight up hating on this other female. Like, she doesn't even know her. Please, baby, can I just have one last dance with you? Okay, it's not the kind of dance that you guys think. She's like, that was the last dance he gets with me and he couldn't even fucking get it up. I'm so disgusted. I can't even believe I let him touch me again. He didn't even give me any money. And I even tried to clean his house for him too. And all the while, I'm, look... Whoever you are, look, if you're sitting here seriously saying all this shit, whoever the fuck you are, like, you can't be doing that. This man actually believed that you loved him. Like, this woman that's on his mind is helping him get through whatever you're putting him through. She is his backbone and support right now while you're putting him through hell. And if you straight up just went over there to manipulate him, to have sex with him one more time, to get some more money out of him, thinking that your punani is going to fucking entrap him to, to, to making you his and, you know, you know, making you all his and not anybody else's when you're sitting here and I see another person, like a whole other family that belongs to you, sister, like living it up, having a grand old time going out doing stuff you and another man and a child it looks like a child probably like six or seven years old out having a grand old time swimming around playing splash and having a good old time and that's where your heart is but you have this other man that's sitting there at this table freaking out not knowing if you're going to actually hurt him and or his woman but you're over here diddling somebody else looking like you have a whole other fucking family Okay, so why are you pointing at the, the other woman? She does too? Okay, but how do you know what she's doing? How do you know what she's doing? Do you communicate with her? Are you a fly on her fucking wall? Do you know what she's up to? Because if, they, look, look, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real fucking real right the fuck now. If this is my story, if this is my story and this has anything to do with me, which is probably why I feel this fucking energy so intensely, but I'm not seeing anything, anything outside of a couple things that would make me think this was about me. So if this has anything to do with me. You're not a fly on my fucking wall. And I don't believe you're on a fly on this other woman's wall either. Whoever the, the, this other woman is, whoever she is, you're not a fly on her fucking wall. This woman is literally, her energy is sitting off in the corner kind of like, hey, I'm not doing nothing. Like, I surrender. I'm here in peace. Like, white flag. Like, just chill. Like, we don't want no, we want no problems. We want no problems. Nobody wants any problems. You're the only one with a fucking problem. Instead of milking this man and abusing him, why don't you just go be with your family? Because more likely than not, that child that you're pregnant with is his, the other one, with the other baby.
spirit showing me something else. What else you got, spirit? She's not. What's going on? I'm being shown kind of like that baby's going to look nothing like the masculine that thinks it's his. The one that's sitting by himself over here freaking out. It's going to look nothing like him. And the second he sees that baby, he's going to know it's not his. He's going to definitely want to get a paternity test for sure. I am getting the, the serious head shaking hell. No, that ain't your fucking kid. You better be careful. Oh man, that's the actual hell, man. What else you got for me, spirit? Never judge a book by its cover. Yeah, nobody should be judging a book by its cover. Please be careful, my karmic is stalking you. And this, uh, this, this female energy, she's pointing to herself. Yes, I am, bitch. Yes, I am. You better watch yourself. Do you, and then I, I, my eye goes directly for this. Do you know who I am? I'm going to watch you. I'm going to see what you're up to. Don't, don't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? To love you forever would be my greatest pleasure. Somebody needs to pay attention to the moon phases. Pay attention to the moon phases. Understand? Right now we're in a waxing gibbous moon. And I was doing, I'm, I'm studying, let me put, put this down. We have two more here. Uh, actually, we have an angel number. Let me read this to you really quick. And I want to read something from this book to you. Okay. Give your, this is angel number 133. Give your fears, doubts, and worries to the angels and ascended masters so that they can be transmuted and healed. Trust that they are, that, excuse me, trust that they support you completely and surround you with love and protection. Trust that the universal energies are working things out for your highest good. That goes for all of you, masculine, karmic, and this other female that's on the masculine's mind. She's like, wait, I don't have no doubts and fears. I trust my man. This man here makes my heart sing. I ain't got nothing to worry about. I know this man loves me. His actions are proving to me that he truly loves me no matter what happens and his energy shifts. I know that he really loves me. It's this masculine and this karmic. You guys need to trip. No, excuse me. Don't trip. Don't trip on anything. That would be the worst thing to do. Don't trip on anything. Exactly. Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't worry. The thing is, young lady, is if you're tripping that you're not going to have the money to take care of your family or support your family or have the lifestyle or whatever, or you just want this man's lifestyle, the thing is, is if you could continue to earn it and do the right thing, you will have abundance. But if you try to take it from somebody and hate on somebody and throw black nasty energy towards somebody and have to have me pick it up and I have to come onto this YouTube and, and give you a piece of my mind because whatever the fuck you're doing, I'm picking up on. Thank you very much. And uh, you need to stop because I really feel like you're judging something. Oh, yeah. She's like, I am judging something. Why? Because what is this bitch got that I don't got? And all of the while, all I see is this masculine looking at this woman that is on his mind constantly, beautiful, smiling, and shining like an angel. That's all he sees when he looks at this woman is an angel. A kind-hearted, beautiful energy. She radiates the sun to him. He wants this person, he, he, to this person... He feels that if she were to love him like that, it would be a, the greatest pleasure of his lifetime to accept it and love her the same way. He wants me to say at one point he did judge this other woman by her cover, which is why he got involved with this other broad. That's the only reason. He was trying to find this other, this woman on his mind. He was trying to find you and every other person he ever, he ever touched from the moment he met you. 
every single woman he's been with since the moment he met you, he was looking for you and every single one of them. And not a single one of them, not especially this one, none of them could compare. Not a single one. All right. Let's, let's talk about the waxing gibbous moon. Um, this comes right after the first quarter moon. This phase started today. Um, today is the 14th of October. The first quarter moon was, I want to say, oh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. What was that? Anyway, um, so this is this is to tell you to stay on course now that is so true right now masculine you need to stay on the course to whatever it is you are that's guiding you if it's that woman that's on your mind that's helping you that that you know is a powerful manifester that you want to love forever and it would be your great pleasure to do so the woman that's so beautiful for words that you're looking at like an angel and all you think about is this gorgeous picture of her all pretty with her hair done nice all long and gorgeous yeah i, I just just keep staying on that course right here oh by the way this book is called moonology working with the magic of lunar cycles yasmin boland now i love to read about this because i notice the moon phases in my life and i like to use this just as a guide to understand why i feel the way i feel and why i'm so connected during certain parts of the moon so much more connected to spirit during certain parts of the moon than i am on others okay so the keywords of this phase is tweak hone and adjust tweak whatever it is you need to tweak in your life that needs to be tweaked to get you to hone in on what you truly want and adjust yourself so if this brought over here that's causing you hella fucking drama get it out of there get out of there don't worry about it if you need to just pump the brakes and just say hey listen once the baby you know we can talk call me whatever's you know, we can keep it PG, keep it happy, keep it whatever's, but no more sex. We need to just, we need to get through this. We need to get through this right now. And we need to get to the point when you have that baby and we know if it's mine or not. But honestly, she, he, he's saying, no, she does. She doesn't know that I think that somebody else's. And he points, he's like pointing to his nose, like you hit the head right on, nail right on the head. Well, if she's watching now, dude, I'm sorry. I just kind of let the cat out of the bag, but whatever's. Okay, so this is another part that I want to read as quickly. Uh, as the moon gets closer and closer to fullness, it's time for stamina. Don't give up. Do not give up. Do not give up. Do not allow your ego or fear to spoil your plans. Stay open to whatever life is teaching you. If you know you need to make some changes to achieve your goals, make them now. Gibbous means bulging, and that's very nice. that very nicely describes the phase of the moon when hopefully life feels bulging with potential, not drama not drama on the bottom of the deck i got my eyes on you oh yeah and it comes back to this this broad stock in the collective oh jesus take the wheel she's standing there with her hands on her hips rolling her eyes like a, she's acting like a damn karen like she thinks she all that in a bag of freaking chips like mm -mm. look i don't like this energy and as a peaceful woman, I, I literally, I would just literally want to laugh in her face. I, I know that's really freaking petty, but I want to laugh in her face for the childish nonsense she's, she's doing right now. Like you realize that if you're, if your gut's telling you he's up to something, it's because he's up to something. And the thing is, is you can't get mad. You got something going on on the side too, bro. Like you can't be tripping. But I'm in, in, in. no, I don't care. I don't care. That, I, I literally feel like I'm having a, an argument with this energy because this is some bullshit. Well, I'm pregnant and it could very well be his. You know, we were in a relationship. Well, then why, if you were in a relationship, why are you thinking it's somebody else's? All I see is another man's face that looks completely different from the man that you're talking to right now. Like this other masculine sitting by himself tripping. <laughs> very different in, in, in looks very different like complete opposite but the thing is is the two females look a lot alike he's trying to find his princess and you woman be careful holy spirit what do we need to say to the collective 
What are more of the messages that need to be said, Holy Spirit? What are more of the messages that need to be said, Holy Father? There's a firefighter. Somebody a firefighter or wanting to be a firefighter? We have a grunge kid. We have divine masculine. Who's the divine masculine in this? Room? Wow. Okay. So the gentleman that's sitting by himself at the table with the computer, you're the divine masculine. Act like it. The only one you should be saying this to is your feminine that's on your mind. Quit spoiling this girl because that is what keeps bringing her back to keep causing you drama. Quit doing this. Quit trying to sweep her off her feet thinking that she's going to give you everything when she literally just walked out on you without trusting you. If you honestly were on that phone with her, with your the other woman and you lied, hey, you need to you need to cut that out. Oh, you a porn addict. That's why you're a sex addict. And that's why you were tripping about the erectile dysfunction. You feel that's the only part of you that that can trap a woman, that can get a woman to really love you is because you know how to lay the pipe. And because now you can't get it up. Because all you can think about is this other woman. Now you feel like you're broken. And this other girl was the only other person that could do it for you besides the woman on your mind. Or that does it to you the way she does it. Have you had sex with this other female? No. But he's a porn and a sex addict. That needs to go right here. Divine Masculine has an addiction to porn and sex. Which is why this girl got so mad is because she knows that. She knows his weakness. She knows his addictions. And that's how she's been able to get him to do all of this for her. It's because she knows what she can do to get him where she wants him. And now, now she's fucking pissed. Oh shit. Okay. And again, what did I fucking say? That baby is not yours, bro. That baby is not yours. Quit trying to sweep this woman off her feet. You're asking for fucking help. You've been at energetically asking me for help. You've been asking your person for help. You're at, you, you, you know something's up, bro. Like, she obviously acting like a, a freaking Karen. And that she making you think that that baby's yours. And it's not. It's not. And she's on top of, on top of all that. She's stalking your woman. We have a biker. What else we got, Spirit? You're all I dream about anymore. We, I have already said all this. Confirmation. Whisper softly how much you love me. I, I know that's what you want this woman to do. The thing is, is this shit's got to fucking stop. Like I told you in the beginning of this premonition, I saw black energy vibrating off of her. Never stop believing in yourself, sir. And don't hide your talents. You need to shine as bright as the sun right now. You need to get away from this. This woman is not after you for anything but what you can do for her. And she's straight up judging your girl. She's stalking her. She's got her twice. Not only is she stalking, she got her eye on you. Whoever you are. Probably on both of you. She's saying, I got eyes all over this place. I see everything this masculine's doing. Don't play. And as I say that, my intuition gets real, real active. And somebody, it's like somebody has a frog in their throat. <clears throat> my, There we go. See? Uh, she's she, her energy is is pointing to that apartment saying I got eyes all over this place 
don't fucking play. I'm watching everything. I got my eyes on you. Be careful. I'm stalking you too. Stalking all of you. I'm not going to let this get out of my... I have to have control in this situation. That's what her energy is. That's the, that's the energy I'm getting off of her. Like, she's like, I will control this situation. No matter what I got to fucking do. Obviously, she's willing to go this far. She's stealing her money for drugs. And that baby... She's afraid of being, you know, I'm, I'm being shown a possibility of a third man. No, just the two. No, possibly more. Yes, because she's, she does this with everybody. I'm being shown the word abortion with the possibility of three times. People that's all around this masculine, the divine masculine, all around his circle, she does this shit. All the while, she's got a man on the side and a child, possibly another child, or she's raising a child with this other man. What else she got from your spirit? Oh, you married that karmic mess. No, almost. Haven't even proposed yet. This was about to be a possibility. This was about to be a possibility. And the energy is, is shifting to the other woman. She helped me see. She helped me see. And that's what pumped the brakes. I was going to ask this woman to marry me. Were you... I'm trying to figure out, was it going to be before the baby? Yes, it was going to be a quick wedding. just to have the legals done and then have the big one after the baby. But there was something that this other woman said to him or did that stopped that proposal from happening because he realized that she was a karmic mess. And now with her acting this way, especially because he couldn't get it up and her reaction really, really set it into motion how he, how she really felt about him. We got something in the south, somebody in the south, somebody from the south. <sighs> so I can feel you in my sleep. Where's the other one? All I dream about is you anymore, and I can feel you in my sleep. You have a big spender. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me anymore. Something about this winter is going to be the most wonderful time of year for you guys. Ooh, why is he getting, why is this energy getting so excited? He's wiggling in his butt, and he's looking... At his computer again. He's looking at flight information. Hotel information. Then he looks at his car keys. And he holds them up jingling them. He's like I'm on a mission. And it's going to be this winter. Excuse me. What else we got spirit? What else we got holy spirit? Shit, no fucking shit, man. Get the sage out and clear yourself in your space. No one compares to you, Big Daddy, is what this succubus is trying to lure him in with. She is a succubus. Succubus. And she's trying to lie to him. She's trying to manipulate him big time. Big time. She is a succubus. He, ooh, I could just, just with the fact of the way she was acting when he couldn't get it up, even though he did her well, like she got her to do her business. And after all, she got her nut. She got up and fucking stalked out like a, like a bat out of hell, pissed off. And just freaking leaves a mess in the kitchen with all the cleaning shit everywhere and just walks out. Okay, what do we got here? No one compares to you. Please let me explain everything. And he's thinking about the woman on his mind. However, she is telling this other woman, is keeps reminding him about God. He just wants to be with her so he can play spoons because every time he thinks about her, he cannot not be hard. Doesn't that tell you something, masculine? Doesn't that tell you something? Like, you can't have control over this. You you're, you're obviously can't control your own fucking body right now. You ever think about maybe uh, why? 
why you can't control your body. You think maybe Spirit's trying to tell you something. Maybe you need to get God in your heart, get on your knees, pray and meditate and ask for guidance from the Most High God. Maybe manifest a, you know, a, a spiritual place in your freaking house to go and worship God. And ask the Holy Spirit to guide you instead of letting a succubus try to fucking manipulate you with sex magic, black magic, sending, stalking your, your, your girl. Possibly doing something to where she can watch you in your apartment while you're alone. Like, think about it. Oh my God, like my, my heart just jumped. Like nerves, like somebody is nervous. Find your higher power, save your soul. Yes, you do. You need to find peace. So that holy, okay, we have, there's a karmic masculine. Okay. So this divine masculine is this girl's karmic masculine. And this is what she's plotting to do. Because she realizes he has more money than sense when it comes to her. And if she tries to do this, he's, she thinks that she, he's going to take her back. Because she's going to try to manipulate him and say that she'll get him arrested for doing this. And since she's pregnant, she knows what will happen. And she's expecting him to, to say, no, 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 please take me back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So. That's be careful, masculine. You are her divine. You are not her divine masculine. The woman on your mind, you're her divine masculine. Okay. The woman that's on your mind, not in your house, causing you hell and high water, that's your divine feminine, not this karmic. To her, you are her karmic masculine. If she, she's not, she is a succubus, which is a sex demon, okay? She is not divinely protected. She is not a divine being, okay? She may be able to be able to step in her divinity eventually if she grows and gets out of this fucking energy and quits with all this shit, but it, until she does... She's going to rack up fucking karma that's going to smack her ass upside her head. And maybe that'll wake her up to what she needs to fucking do and get right with God. Because honestly, she needs to find her higher fucking power and save her damn soul before she ends up in a position where she's homeless on the street with kids. So please, feminine, karmic feminine, please do not pull this shit. That's not kosher. Don't do it for the money. Don't do it for the money because everything you can get, everything you can get from him can be taken right the fuck back. Especially, 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 okay, if this man, here, I'm going to just say it like this, okay, here's the thing, I have been having the feeling that there is something going on with official people in this energy between you two, okay, the thing is, is if there is and all of these readings that I am doing are predicting what's happening between you guys and helping this masculine. Masculine, please get a hold of me via email. I will release all rights to any evidence in these videos that you need to you to take her down if she's going to act like this to you. Okay? I really believe that I would be more, I, I know I would be more than happy to help somebody get this shit to stop. I am a friend to all, even to you, Karmic, if you want to act right. If you want to send me energy to help you through this, to get you on the right path to save your family, fine, send me that energy. But until then, if I keep feeling your low vibration sending any negative around this collective, if I feel any low vibrational energy surrounding this collective, you're going to hear my mouth like this. Okay, I'm not going to be supporting low vibrational energy, period, point blank. But I will support people that really truly need help away from this darkness. So if I, if anybody needs Gigi, whether it's to be sitting down with people to do readings, hit me up via email. If you, if anybody needs me to do this for any type of legal, fine, just hit me up. Let me know what I can do to help you because this is some bullshit. This shit right here is not some, and then being a fucking hater, being a fucking hater, judging books by their cover, like I'm happy to do 
spiritual warfare with a succubus and put their ass down in the spirit realm believe you me i won't do nothing here because the 3d has police officers and legal legal options that we can take to get rid of this because this energy needs somebody masculine you need to get a freaking restraining order on this broad you need to tell the woman that's on your mind to get a restraining order on this broad give her, her whatever you got to do Whatever you got to do. If you're afraid she's going to figure out where your girl lives and come stalk her, you better prepare your girl. Don't sit there, like, letting this shit happen and fearing for her safety. I mean, the girl is obviously stalking her. What else you got, spirit? What else you got, spirit? You're going to make it. He never will. Shh. He's going to make it. Because he's choosing this other woman on his mind. Or at least that's the goal. He feels a little defeated right now because of what happened in the bedroom. But the thought of her gets his blood boiling. So don't worry about it. It's just the moon phase. You're going to make it if you keep going. to, If you allow this other energy, this other female energy that you look at like the sun. If you keep letting her help you, you'll make it. You're going to make it. Just find God. God will help you. Purge your emotional burdens to God. Say it out loud. Look, the angels and ancestors are working, watching over you. Thank your protectors often and count your blessings. I'm the, I'll be real with you, masculine. The energy I'm feeling around you is what's it, it's basically your ancestors the angels holy spirit is basically making your body do what you're supposed to be doing inside like everything you want to do but your body's not allowing you to is it that's what they're helping you do you know you shouldn't be sleeping around right now and you should be focusing on work and your girl and right now all you can think about is being this and that's why spirit's making you not get aroused you may be able to do you know handling business for yourself every so often and he's shaking his head no then just stop worrying about it don't watch porn don't go on to like my only fans don't go to the strip club don't put that shit in your path this is a time that you need to use to get your mind right and right now you got a lot going on bro you need to stop worrying about sex if you hold your power in sex you you obviously she knows that you hold your power through your sexual energy that's why she's feeding off of you that's how they know that's how they know. That's how they know. I'm being told that you should start that business. Whatever side projects you're working on right now, you need to do that. I want to want to go to dinner in a movie. And he's shaking his head. No, I don't want to go with her. I just want to be with my girl. But right now, I don't want to do nothing. I just, he feels so bad about this ED shit. He can't get it up, man, and he's pissed. It's not even, it's not even being pissed. He's, like, really heartbroken. He's, like, really, really heartbroken. He doesn't know what to do. He's, like, I've always been able to lay the pipe good, like... I see him thinking about all the positions he's good at. He loves caressing his women. He loves doing all of that, touching and feeling. But he's like, I can't even, I can't even bring myself to touch anybody anymore. All I want is her. Well, you know, maybe you need to stop fighting yourself, masculine. That military person. Personnel, maybe a veteran. Doesn't look like he's in military shape. Maybe the girls, I don't know, but he looks like he's just very tired and kind of just, I'm not, I don't want to do anything to sleep. Like, you can just tell he's not, he's not military ready. What else do we have, Spirit? Like, I'm, I'm literally tearing up. I feel so bad for this masculine. Okay, I'm being told to split these. Slow dance with me, baby girl. Could be a stay-at-home mama. Okay. Well, now she's pregnant and it isn't yours. Don't be fooled. We have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So this is, we have air twice, water, and Earth. 
we have a hippie. Somebody shows fake love. Protect yourself in all things. No, he doesn't show fake love. She does. He also says, so did the girl on the, my mind, or so I thought, because I was too busy judging a book by her cover. That's why I was okay with getting involved with this, meaning this other woman. Masculine. Don't show fake love to anybody. That's not cool. Okay? Protect yourself in all things fine, but don't be fake about it. Okay? Do not tell this karmic soulmate to go slip into something a little more comfortable because then you're just going to put yourself back in a position to what I just saw. You getting embarrassed by, you know, your body not wanting to function for her. So just be cautious. You need to save yourself from this and get out of this, this addict to porn and sex. Get away from it. She only likes you for money, your money, booze, and drugs too, but not you as a person. We've said this already. She's the karmic drama queen. There she is. We've got a karmic masculine, which you are to her, and she is your karmic drama queen. Who only likes you for your money, booze, and drugs, but not you as a person. I want to put this right where we can fucking see it. There you are, karmic drama queen. And now you realize that this woman on your mind, you should have picked her instead of investing in this shit over here. And, um, oh, this is what the girl on your mind said to you. And that's what made you start to realize there's no amount of money that can make up for breaking my heart. And that's when you started realizing and, and seeing her for who she was and not just judging her. And now you want to go all the way and take Sunday drives with you your family member he says no I want to be her family member I want to be a part of her family he says I want to join her family somebody on the east coast to next this has more to say no matter what I will always love you you bring light and joy to my life and he says yes and that's what she says to me and that's why I love her and you shine like the sun I said that too confirmation there to, to this masculine, the woman that's on his mind, whoever she is, huh, whoever this woman on his mind is, you shine like the sun to him. And he will always love you no matter what. No matter what decision he will make. Oy, they go away. <laughs> I love that card. He's telling you not to say this to him. Other woman, whoever you are, the one that's on his mind, he's saying, please don't say this to me. Please don't tell me to go away. Please don't push me away. I know I'm being difficult right now. I know my energy's off. I know. Just don't tell me to go away. I need to get this woman to go away. I need to tell her, oy, they go away. <laughs> yeah, this oy, they go away needs to happen to this woman. You need to go away. Like they. Unfucking believable. Sorry for such a long reading, guys. This energy is really, really intense. And this girl, she wants to be tough. Like, I can see she wants to be tough. She thinks she a badass, but she, she doesn't seem like she's... It's like one of those people where she's more of a bark than a bite. And one person that has a bite and she, ste she steps to the wrong person. Yeah. Divine masculine, you need to stay consistent. I see the other woman, the, the karmic, the drama queen that's that's acting a fool. 
she's standing off to the side just kind of watching everything with her arms crossed and her like her hips t- thrust out standing there tapping her toe arms crossed like i'm just watching everything you're fucking doing now bitch mm-hmm. like that's just the energy i'm feeling and this masculine's just like slaving away just working his ass off and then you have this other woman just kind of going through life with a smile on her face all of you guys y'all need to stay consistent karmic divine car or divine karmic <laughs> oh man something's going on i can't get my brain to shut up like there's like 20 different things that want to come out at once karmic drama queen you can stay consistent in all this because if you do that's just going to drive that divine masculine to his divine feminine and get him as far away from you as possible. So you're welcome to stay consistent in being this low vibrational freaking succubus whore. Okay. I'm just going to come out and call you your names. I'm sorry, Holy Spirit, for my foul language, but she is being a fucking whore. I don't like this energy. And if Gigi was the person she was like two years, three years ago closer yeah th- three years ago now i'd have been a whole different fucking story if i knew this person i'd have bitch slapped her back then now i would just laugh because i just wouldn't even want to break a nail because i honestly just this this energy is just she acting a fucking fool it's like you know what i'm thinking well as i've said before if you throw in that energy anywhere near the collective or me like yes i will be able to know your energy will tell me okay so yes i do in a sense getting to you is the hardest maze i've ever been through yeah masculine i can tell like you are going through fucking like hell in a handbasket your love has me in a trance oh he's thinking you the one doing the black magic other woman he thinks this, all this stuff spirits given to him with the thoughts and the dreams and the downloads and all that. I mean, I literally saw you go into the kitchen, sit on the floor and drink. Oh, shit. <gasps> okay. Okay, now I understand. So there's a video that I posted very, very early in the beginning of my channel that was picking up on the same energy I'm looking at right now. Where he's on the floor, in the kitchen, head in his hand, a bottle of vodka in the other. Plotting and planning and raging and getting upset. I don't know if the two are going to join together. I don't know. But I've seen this masculine doing exactly this before. It was the energy with with around this masculine was nothing like that. I, I Now I can see his face, but everything else looks exactly the same. <gasps> oh shit I don't remember what video it was I don't remember what video but there was a video in the very beginning it wasn't in this background it was sitting at my kitchen table it was one of the ones where I was sitting at the kitchen table different different background in the very beginning of my channel you guys if you want to look into one of those you should um holy crap um I want to see what Big Bertha has to say. Oh, my body's starting to tingle. Get the kipper. Get the kipper. Oh, shit. I, I accidentally picked it up on a pregnancy trap. No fucking way. Spirit. Oh, my goodness, spirit. you here all right i want to see what the kipper have oh my god i pick up the kipper my body just starts tingling all the hair on my body just stood up spirit is with me oh boy oh i see the hand of spirit going like i told you something i warned you something you didn't listen oh shit spirit's pissed what you gotta say to him, spirit? What do you got? 
Oh man, that hand scares me. He's like, you were warned. Oh boy. Great fortune. In the distant horizon, a community. There is a great fortune in the distant horizon for a community or a family. A house. We have a privileged lady. A mature woman. Somebody is being held in high honor. Somebody is being held in high honor. And they're expecting it to be the main. And they're expecting. Wait a minute. So this main female. This karmic. Is this main female right now? Yes, big time. Yes, big time. Right now, she's being looked at as the privileged lady and being held in high honor. But the thing is, is if she doesn't stay this masculine's main female, her, she's going to put herself on a pathway to despair and poverty. And her official person, which is that masculine that I see her off to the side there doing shit with, is going to throw her ass to the side and, ch and, and, and make a big change that's going to leave her to want to steal and cause serious toil and problems for somebody's wedding. Oh my shit. No fucking way. So I posted a video yesterday, or two days ago, about a karmic crashing a wedding. And because this other man over here, is he going to leave her? Yes, possibly. Her official person is going to change lovers. Her official person is going to change lovers, and she's going to want to steal somebody. She's going to she's going to want to steal and destroy somebody's marriage. Well, fucking a. And whatever happens, there's going to be something that is involved with legal situations. Possibly. No, that has nothing to do with it. It may leave. Honestly, honestly, if she goes cuckoo crazy like she didn't, that, like that energy in that freaking other video, I don't think it, it may have, I don't know. It, I, I, it, it could very well be her energy, but it, 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 she wants to, she wants to steal, she wants to steal this wedding. She doesn't want to let this other woman have her, him. She wants his, she wants to continue to be the privileged lady. She doesn't want to be in despair and poverty. But that's the pathway she's on. Because she's doing something not only to this divine masculine, but she's also putting that other man through the ringer. She's going to end up alone and in, in poverty. Anything else out of here? No. No. Tennessee whiskey. Um, we know he's a drinker. I see him in the living, uh, the kitchen on the floor. Stop lying to me. I can't take it anymore. That's what the other woman is saying to him, and that's why he knows. She, he knows. She knows. You know, I like it when you're a good girl for daddy. That's what he used to say to this other woman, which is why she was cleaning the house because she knows he likes watching her do it. 
and she was being a good girl so daddy would do what he she wanted him to do like give her money she was going to put it on him be a good girl take her his money and go off on her way like she does every other time but now she got to see what was really going on and now she's asking are you cheating on me but all the while she's got another man on the side too is ridiculous it's almost to a disgust if it almost feels disgusting this energy she's throwing i know you you're the, i know this energy watches this 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 karmic feminine i know she watches these videos I can just I can just tell like when there's somebody that surrounds this collective that hard I know that they're watching the videos I know they're watching every single one of them why am I so jealous that everyone loves my baby probably because everybody is loving up on your baby if you're thinking this of this woman this karmic that's in your house throwing a fit if you feel like some everybody else in the world is, is loving up on her it's because it is I've already said she's being a hell she the, 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 she's already she's got an entire other family that she spends all her time with that she she takes care of that she but she's coming in and out of your own house like you let this woman physically come into your house lay in your bed with you shag with her give her money to make her happy thinking that it's all good and in reality she's got a, a, a man and a child that she goes home to every night and if she's staying with you, it's because she's probably telling this other guy that she's out with her girlfriends. If she's going on trips with you, she's probably t telling him that she's got a girlfriend with her. She's probably not posting about y'all on social media. And if she is, she's doing it under fake fucking accounts so this man doesn't find out. And if he does know about all of this and he is allowing this to happen, it's because he wants what you got too. The fact that he's letting his girl shag another man, it's because of something. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to be giving her something real nice to be taking care of them. I mean, she's cleaning your house like she's doing all this for you. But all the while, you got a whole other woman on your fucking mind, man. Let's slow down. He's like, I need to slow down. He's like, I need to slow down. There's too much going on. Way too much going on. What else you got for me, spirit? Get away from the fucking whiskey, man. Stay away from any fucking liquor. On the bottom of the deck. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, bitch. You gotta go. Sorry. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not really sorry today. I'm not really sorry today. My The back of my neck is on fire. I'm not really sorry today. And here's why. Because if you're going to be doing all of this and wanting to manipulate somebody and trying to put some in, it, no, you, and then if you, if you do get left, you want to ruin somebody's freaking marriage or a wedding or crash a wedding or do whatever you can to try to manipulate. Why? If you think you all that in a bag of, chi of chips, 
Can't you find another man? If you're not happy with the man you have, why don't you go find a man, another man? Why This man obviously has another woman on his mind. He can't get up for you. You feel like he's cheating. You're cheating. Everybody's cheating. Everybody's trying to do somebody dirty. And all the while, this poor masculine just wants to be with his princess and he doesn't know how to get out of the mess he's fucking made for him. And I keep seeing spirit smack it fist in his hand saying, I warned you. I warned you. And it has something to do with this. <laughs> oh, shit. <gasps> okay. Divine Masculine. I have to pull up my own channel for a second because there was another video. Spirit is um, telling me to tell you about. Bear with me just a second. I posted this one about two weeks ago. All right, shoot, which one was it? It was either... Which one was it? I can't remember. So there's divine masculine. You're being called to have a talk with spirit. And then you're being divine masculine. You're being awake and everything's okay. And then... Yeah... And then it comes up to the Divine Feminine, you're the chosen one. Collective, take some time for yours. Yeah, it's one of those videos. There was a video that I posted. It was literally about the main female and a mature man. Excuse me, the Divine Feminine and the, the main prospect of being the Divine Masculine. And it was spirit judging all of you and the whole situation. Saying at that point, from that moment on... If you're doing something with other people outside of the two of you that are that should, would be considered cheating outside of a holy matrimony that would be blessed under the Holy Spirit, if you're doing any of those things, he will see you and he will make it very clear that you're doing wrong. So if you haven't watched that video and you're feeling like all of this because Spirit's saying, I warned you, and if you watch that video and you didn't heed the warning, this is the karma you're getting. So maybe you need to sit down and think about what it is you're doing. Okay? Ooh, 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 okay. Let's, let's just... Yeah, no shit. We have a street walking hooker. Well, she's acting like a hooker with getting paid for sexy sexy. Like, come on. Watch out for the crazy ex. She is gonna be a fucking crazy ex. Like, she's stalking Divine Feminine. She's freaking threatening to freaking hurt somebody, wanting to crash a wedding. Somebody needs to break the silence. We need to slow this down. They wishing bad on you, watch your back. Yeah, I can tell both feminine, the, the other woman and this masculine. Both, and we got a stalker. How many fucking, and we got karmic, again, this karmic female is the stalker and wishing bad on you guys. The only one that should be slowing down and breaking the silence is the, 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 the break. Don't break the silence with her. You need to make the silence and you need to slow down with her. Pump the fucking brakes. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. I can't even. I can't even, my dude. Like, this is ridiculous. This shit is ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. What else you got for me, spirit? Watch out, you got fake family and friends give, giving you bad false advice to get you to, into trouble. Yes, she is. Right person, wrong time. Who is this? And he keeps pointing to the woman on his mind. He's like, every single time we get into a relationship, it's always the wrong time. Now I can't, I, I don't know what to do. I will leave you for her, yes, even if we are married. And he drops himself to his knees, puts his head in his hands and says, no, no, I would never do that. Maybe before, not now. I see you for who you are. Please don't think this. 
who's a terrible parent he's pointing to her she is she is she's doing drugs she's pregnant and she's doing drugs she's a terrible parent i'm scared for that child that's why i'm sticking around because if it is mine i need to make sure it's okay got another man in her in in her bed she's got another man in her bed at night after she leaves you what did i say about the abortions earlier in this fucking video up to three that she had and she cheated on me with my brother or my sister that's what i'm saying she's I, she's sleeping I, I said it in the beginning of the fucking reading i cannot make this shit up spirit will not let me okay she's sleeping with people that is are in his fucking world a lot of them threesomes with another girl i see who also had abortions because of bullshit that they were doing. They were sleeping with people being hookers for money because they have a horrible fucking drug habit. She's a terrible parent. She uses drugs. I'm seeing somebody shooting needles into their arm, snorting lines of coke, tipping back the bottle, taking pills. I've never used a fucking IV needle in my life for drugs, never never for anything no no fucking way how could you with kids in general how could you do that to yourself man get it how you live but fuck that's just your that's like you've basically given up at that point point. and the point of the matter is is you're sitting here tripping that homie over here you know can't get it up for you and you think acting like he's cheating but you're doing all this possibly getting abortions from babies you might have had with him but now you realize that you're going to lose him to another woman and you're sticking with this pregnancy just to try to entrap him when i first pulled big bertha out i got the pregnant I, op I, I opened it up i broke the deck i cut the deck right on pregnancy fucking trap i use sex workers as therapists well it comes back to being a porn addict and a sex addict because he needs to be able to get through his job. His job is hard. That's what he, I, I, his energy is telling me. My job is hard. My life is difficult. I got a lot of stress and this is the only way I can do it is I get my nut off and I feel better. And I fell in love with this one. I got 99 problems, but the woman on his mind ate one. I'm coming home to you, my love. Please wait for me. I don't need this from you, woman. I got options. He said this to the other woman once. He's in complete regret about it. Now the man... No, that's it. Is he said this to that divine feminine once and now he regrets it. Touch yourself for me, baby, while we video chat. Divine time. No, spirit saying none of that. I understand that you feel this way. I understand the flesh of the flesh is getting you, getting to you. But the thing is, is that all of this is happening in divine time. And if you keep thinking below the belt, you are never going to get out of this. And you're going to stay in this vicious cycle. Keep feeling the way you feel. You don't want to be saying this to nobody. Okay, you want to stop. Stop thinking with the brain that is below your belt. You want to use the one that's at the top of your head and allow it to coincide with your heart. Okay, not your genitals, not your sexual energy. Save that for the woman that you're thinking about. Because I can tell you what, the second you two touch, you're not going to fucking think a single second about this other woman. And if you do, it's going to make you sick. Because you're going to realize all of what she is doing to you. Speak your mind. Please don't be mad at me. All I keep seeing is him thinking about her. Please don't be mad at me. I know you're going to speak your mind, but please don't be mad at me. In a second I said, I, I know you're going to speak your mind. It's like he got real nervous, like what you about to say. Because that, I can see that that woman can go from angelic being to the devil. She can get nasty. And I see him saying her words can cut you like a knife. And she'll put you on your knees and make you fucking feel everything she feels. She'll make you realize every bad thing you've ever done. <laughs> and she ain't playing games. Well, hey. 
she really is a fucking divine being then because she don't play no games and he's like i really don't want her to be mad at me she is the one person i don't want mad at me oh please god don't let her be mad at me well i'll tell you this masculine if she does speak her mind and give it to you straight everything she's going to say is going to be 100 percent what you deserve to hear in that moment she looks like a no-nonsense kind of girl my kind of people so whoops my roots run deep i love in this moment roots by in this moment okay that was a lyric from them they are using sex to hold you down we already found that they're a succubus so we know that okay we already know that children are involved you better come correct save your own self because my roots run deep and I'm not going to take your shit and if you don't come correct I am going to speak my mind and I am going to fucking be pissed that is the energy of the other woman because she will not tolerate bullshit and she's not going to save you. You need to save yourself because she knows who she is and her beliefs run deep and she's not going to sit here playing games. Oh man, I'm being shown that this masculine has fetishes. Foot fetishes? Pretty toes? I see pretty toes with little, like, maybe toe rings on them. Freshly manicured nails. Very, very elegant. He's got fetishes to beautiful feet and hands. He loves, he loves beautiful hair. He just, he, he's addicted to women that love themselves as much as he loves them. Because when he sees a woman he loves take care of herself, it brings him joy because he feels like all he can do is spoil her because he doesn't feel worthy to be loved by this woman. What I see now is he feels like he's the beast and she's the beauty and he has no idea how could he could how he can be loved so fiercely by this woman. And he feels that she's going to walk away from him and he's not ready for that. But he doesn't know how to get out of the situation he's in. Oh, God. It's a difficult time right now, masculine. Okay? It's a difficult time right now. Go Instead of going and thinking, you know, getting pissed off that you can't rub one out or get your shit hard for another woman, why don't you go take a run? Go take a cold shower, go for a run, go for a jog, go fishing, go drive the car that she wants to destroy. Just get out of the house and don't think about it. Don't think about it. Go put yourself out in nature and go find yourself. She's flat, broke, and trying to rely on the old man's money, and she's being a bitch about it. Okay. I was manipulated and taken advantage of. Yes, you were. However, justice has been served, or it's being served. She really does love you only for your money. Please, please go to the doctor, love. Your addictions are affecting your health. STD is being shown to me in big, bold letters. Get that shit checked. Don't be. Wow. The truth hurts. Yeah, if you're sitting here like I don't know why this is all so. The truth hurts. This if it, if you're hurting because of all of this and you're being awakened to some bullshit drama. Yeah, the truth hurts. And this bitch has got a gun. Janie's got a gun. Janie's got a gun. Yep, I hear Aerosmith in my head right now. You're a schmuck and that obviously hasn't changed. <laughs> and he drops his head in his hand and shakes it. He's like, yeah, I know I've been a schmuck. I'm doing my best. I don't know how to fight this demon. He's like, but the demon broke me because now it don't work. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. I'm just the way I see this in my head. It's pretty. It's pretty funny. It's a. It's a sad situation. I get it. Okay. What I think will help you is making the choice to say celibate. Making the honest choice subconsciously, consciously, energetically, all of it to just be celibate and stop feeding into this. If you're truly just doing it to keep her under control because you're afraid she's going to do something to hurt the baby and you really think it's yours, I get it. But the thing is, is you shouldn't be having sex right now. You should be going to the doctor because it may not just be that, you're, you know, spirit wants you to just keep it in your pants. It could be that you have a fucking STD and you need to go get checked or your stress levels are so bad or you're not eating properly or sleeping enough that your body's saying, hey, <laughs> quit being dumb. You're something's wrong. Uh, hello? Yeah. Oh, you don't have time for me. Oh, really? He's, he says, I do have time for you. I'm just, I'm afraid to talk to you right now. You know me too well. You know when I'm up to something. He says, I'm afraid to talk to you. And he's meaning the other woman on his mind. Not the karmic. She's just sitting over there acting like a diva. You're such a liar. And the karmic and the divine masculine are pointing to each other. That's how I see them, pointing at each other. They're both fucking liars. You know, when I was younger, my stepfather used to make me write something. Every time he, I was caught in a lie, I was punished to write lines. And one of them was, I am a liar and no one will ever trust me. And at one point I had to write it 500 times and I wasn't allowed to get up besides to use the restroom and get water until it was written. Okay, so, you know, maybe y'all need to write lines and say to yourself, I, I am a liar and no one will ever trust me 500 times and maybe get it through your fucking thick skulls that you can't be lying and manipulating and using the old man for his money. Okay, leave the poor man the, the fuck alone. Quit bugging this fucking man. Quit trying to manipulate this fucking man. Leave him the hell alone. Leave him alone already. Leave him alone. wannabe player is actually flat broke and you get and again why do you keep dropping your head like this every time i say something like this it's because it's true this woman between my lifestyle and these two women i barely have enough money to take care of my own self which is why i'm working extra to be able to have extra to be able to do what i'm doing to maintain until i get myself out of this well it's an easy simple fix Give her enough money to take care of the business to make sure that baby is taken care of until it's born. Take care of yourself. And if you can't afford to spoil this other woman, just treat her kindly with respect and she'll understand. Her energy is shaking her head. Yes. But you got to come correct. You can't be sitting here. Because even in the beginning, it said, no amount of money will make up for breaking my heart. And that comes from her, not this other witch. She wants you for your money. She's flat broke and trying to rely on you because she's too much in this, in this fucking party and lifestyle, getting abortions and sleeping around, manipulating people. Unfucking believable. Karmic female energy. How many fucking times? This is like the third or fourth time in three different decks. This is a karmic female. Your divine feminine is barely entering this reading. Her energy is off to the side just saying, hey, I'm just sitting over here speaking my mind and doing me. This is all you. That's the divine feminine over there. This other broad that's causing all of this, that bitch is the karmic drama queen. I use that relationship as therapy. That's the second time. And we have a we have a hooker streetwalker over here, so I use that relationship as therapy. And you need to stay hopeful because if you don't and you give up, like I said about the waxing gibbous moon, tweak, hone, and adjust. Do not allow your ego or feel, fears to spoil your plans. Stay hopeful, stay positive, stay optimistic, and know that the, the Most High God will will cover your ass if you just do the right thing. I mean, like legit, Holy Spirit is like basically taking away 
your your sex organs right now to get you to realize that you need to focus on other things like getting off this Tennessee whiskey and getting away from this fucking hooker. Because if this this girl has this man over here with that other child and he's cool with her being a streetwalker and a hooker and, and, and stripping and for if she's a stripper, fine. If she ain't sleeping with, you know, I used to dance. Like I've done the, I've done the, 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 the dancing for men thing. Okay. Like, but I was never sleep with another man for actual money. Like I could not bring myself, my, my self pride, my, my, the way I hold myself, just the way I look at myself, I could honestly never, ever, ever sell my body for money. No matter how poor I was, maybe if I was strung out on drugs and I really needed a fix, maybe then. But at that point, like I said, if you're fucking shooting drugs at that point, you've given up on life and selling yourself really whatever it is, what it is. Okay. The thing is, is every person's entitled to get it how they live until they start manipulating people. Do whatever you do if the intention's right. But if you got ill intent and you're willing to manipulate people and, and, and try to trap people with pregnancies that, and, and on top of it, you're already getting abortions, like, do you realize what the fuck you're actually doing to your body? On top of it, what you're doing to this, fa this man that you go home to every night with that child, okay, whether it's yours or his or whatever, you're still around a child, you're pregnant, and you're still doing all this shit. You got this other man over here that's just, that was only coming to you for therapy, using you for therapy, giving you what you wanted just because you were giving him some dumb, giving him some snooze, snooze, whatever the fuck. He caught a few little feelings. But the thing is, is that in reality, he realizes that you meant nothing to him and he wants his fucking girl. Leave it alone. Quit being like this. You're only going to end up fucking porn. We got porn at twice. I needed snooze. What the fuck did I just say? What the actual fuck did I, I can, I'm going to say it again. I can not make this shit up. The Holy Spirit will not let me. Holy Spirit is watching your actions. Be mindful. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. I love you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you. Because, hello? Hello? They are very, this woman is very selfish. She's using whole sex to hold you down. Like she got her own little fucking family that she's worried about, not you. You are her sugar daddy. And you suck at long distance relationships, which is why you keep going back to this fucking hooker. Oh, she getting mad that I'm calling her a hooker. Well, I'm just calling you the name of what, I'm just using your occupation to, to address you, friend. So take it how it is. If you don't want to be called a hooker, quit fucking acting like one. Quit acting like the, the no. No. Ugh, unbelievable. Well, she got for me, spirit. Okay. Your DM's karmic female is trying to keep your DM away from you. Yeah, we, we've established that one. Thank you. Stop trying to make me feel guilty. Yeah, we have a Taurus. And I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Well... We've got all of the earth signs out here, Taurus out here twice. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Stop trying to make me feel guilty because I was only there for a good time, not a long time, and this all happened. And now I just want, oh, it's her saying that to him. Oh, I love you. Don't leave me. I want this to be... It's going both ways because the energy is shifting. It's like they're saying this shit to the both of them. It's like a hot and cold on and off. And it has been for a while, up to three years. That was a quick three is a big number here. That's the second, third time I've said three. So three, three, three. Somebody needs to look up angel number three, three, three. I'm going to just do it because I should know this off the top of my head already, but I don't. I've got the memory of a goldfish. I need to look up 333. Oh, look at this one first. It's uh, angel number 133. No, we did that one already. Sorry. 333. Oh, this app needs to not be with the commercials. I ain't got time for this. We're already sitting at an hour and 43 minutes. 333 tells you that the Ascended Masters are near you. They have responded to your prayers and wish to help you and assist you in your endeavors with serving your life purpose and soul mission. Divine masculine, that is with you. That is for you. 
my whole body tingled up like Holy Spirit says, touched me on the shoulder and said yes. It's for you, Divine Masculine, and for you, Divine Feminine. The Ascended Masters, the Angels, I am with you, meaning the Holy Spirit. And you, you, you. I'm always with you. As long as you want my help, you can always energetically ask me for it. I will pick it up. You need to stay hopeful. Is this true love? He's questioning that about you, other woman? No. In general, he's questioning, is true love really a thing? And then he thinks about this woman and he starts crying again. He's like, I just don't know why she's attracted. I'm so in love with this woman. Stop talking about your ex. It's really getting old already. And he just keeps putting his head down. He doesn't... Who's the ex? He's shaking his head. He doesn't want to divulge that information. But somebody needs to stop talking about his... He thinks the other... The girl that he... This karmic female... He thinks that the man in the background there with her is her ex... Yes. Does she keep talking about him? Yes. Does he want to hear it about it? No. Is that why you bring up your female? Yes. You use your, you use the two of you, the divine masculine karmic sea witch. You are using the other people in your life to make the others jealous to get what you want. You're both being manipulative. He's saying, stop, not me, not anymore. I stopped. It's her now. She's using all of this to try to get me away from my girl and to keep me for herself because she knows without my money, she'd be lost. It's what supplies her entire lifestyle. He's saying, I, I'm seeing 2000 He's saying I give her upwards and more, sometimes more, upwards of $2,000 plus dollars a month. And he's shaking his head with his head in his hand. Yes. And he seems very embarrassed about it. Fucking Christmas trees. Wow. If not now, then when? I sexually victimize women. Listen, darling, I know just how to bring you to your knees. And they trash talk you about, they trash talk you behind your back. Okay. It's not I sexually victimize women. It's I sexually victimize men by using her sex demon powers over them, manipulating them. Because they, she knows how to bring them to their knees because she's a sex demon. She's a succubus. She knows what she's doing. And then she goes behind your back, masculine, to her person and trash talks you. Who's like, are you done with him yet now? If not now, then when? We need to figure out what's going on. Because this other man believes it's his child too. So she's got two masculines over here thinking that baby's theirs. And neither one of them know what the real fuck is going on. Because this girl is manipulating him. The both of them. Which is why, like I said over here, with this other man, and he, whatever happens, she's. I, I just see her ending up alone in despair. Living a mundane life alone. She looks sick. I don't see any children with her either. And she looks like she's been out on the streets for a while. And I see that baby with a man. And I don't, it doesn't look like it's the divine masculine. It doesn't look like the man, the main man in this situation. So she may end up losing that baby to the father and get tossed the fuck out all the way and she ends up out on the streets. And that's when I see her energy shift into that monster I saw that was t freaking trying to crash that wedding. They're all fucking stemming around each other. What else she got for me, spirit? Anything out of 
this part here, Spirit. Anything further, Spirit? No, leave it there. These people need to think about what they're up to. He, you need to think about this. This part here is what he wants, the spirit wants to leave you at. Is that you need to realize that this karmic feminine over here, she victimizes men sexually. We saw the pregnancy trap when I first pulled out uh, Bertha. You see the abortion card. We already talked about abortions multiple times. Okay? She knows how to bring you to your knees because she is a sex demon. But she will tr continue to talk trash behind your back because she does not really love you. She only wants you for your money, any drugs and booze that you provide her. She does not like you. Okay? That's it. That's it. That's it. The end of the fucking story. The end of the story, and I'm going to leave it there because this, this whole two hours almost that we've been sitting here with this, I have become very, very upset. Like, I need to go smoke a bowl right now and chill and go call my sweetheart because I need to go give him some love because I just feel like there needs to be a lot of love right now in the world. Just today has been a very weird energy day. Like, I just know, like, now that I've understood why this energy's been, this energy's been lingering around me all day, all day. I've been feeling off all day. I've been feeling a certain kind of something all day. And now I understand why. I understand why, and I'm so glad I got it out in this reading, because now I can rest easy knowing that it's just a psychopath that's trying to hurt somebody in the collective and manipulate somebody in the collective, and it's just not okay. So, collective, if you stayed this long in this reading, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I close this reading now. Holy Spirit, angels, thank you so much for being here and guiding me through this, giving me these downloads and these premonitions to help this masculine see what's going on, give them a little insight, a little heads up on what the dealio is. I close this reading. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Oh, golly, guys. Like, seriously, I don't know what to tell you any more than what I've already said. We don't do this shit. We, we as divine people, do not do this shit. If you, got, and if you are a divine being and you're doing this shit, it's probably because you haven't been, like, smacked out of it yet. So, Holy Spirit will come to you. We'll get to you when he gets to you. Like, he's already, I believe me, when I we, it said it in the cards, and I'm going to say it to you directly. Like, the divine Holy Spirit, the creator of all, okay, is fucking watching you, Divine Masculine. He's watching you, Divine fem or divine Feminine, yes. He's watching you, Karmic Sea Witch, being a drama queen. And he sees all that's going on behind the, 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 the scenes, too. On all sides, he's, the, the Holy Spirit sees everything. So please, just be mindful of what the actual fuck you're doing. Because you're just going to end up getting yourself into something you can't get out of. And it's not going to be anybody else's fault but your own. Thinking that you're all that in a bag of tr uh, tricks. You don't want to do all that. You want to, if you got to be, you're going to be a mom and you're going to end up out on your ass if you don't get your shit together. Get your shit in a pile and then and grow up a little bit. Okay. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to end this reading here at exactly one hour and 53 minutes. Somebody go look up that, uh, what is it, angel number. It's important for somebody. But until then, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, all of the YouTube things. And I know Gigi loves you, all of you, even you, Karmic. I do. I have much love for everybody. Everybody deserves love. But I will say this one last time. Go get yourself to the church of your choice, the spiritual practice of your choice, and go seek forgiveness for what the fuck you're doing. Because you're going to need to. Because you are fa you're going to face what spirit has to do. Ooh, God help you. Seriously, I pray for you. Uh, I hope the angels will be with you. Be, be good. Everybody be good, okay? Everybody be good. Gigi loves you. Until next time, life, love, life, life, light, love, and blessings to you all. Bye, guys.